Suppose anthropologists were black racists instead of white racists. What would they write? Hypothetical black racist anthropologist. Chimps and other apes grow hair all over their bodies. The hairiest people you've ever seen have been white people. Distinct from their face, hands, and feet, part the hair of most chimpanzees the way they do to each other when checking for lice, and their skin color is white, not any shade of black or brown. For most of the 20th century, Neanderthals were portrayed as stupid and brutish. Turns out, beginning in the 1990s, genetic research revealed that Europeans are between one and 3% Neanderthal. Africans ever hear of a lice outbreak among black children? Probably not. White children are 30 times more susceptible to lice infestation than our black children. The parasite simply likes to lay eggs in the hair of chimpanzees and white people more than on the hair of black people. This goes on. This is what we were doing as humans to each other, not recognizing authentic diversity in who and what we are. 